Well, it is not just a problem in western North Carolina and the upstate. Law enforcement across the upstate have reported an increase in stolen catalytic converters. And now South Carolina lawmakers are hoping to curb the thefts with new legislation. Our Jason Raven reports. Law enforcement say this is not a specific South Carolina issue. This is a problem nationwide, and they've seen an uptick in thefts over the last couple months. By the time this story is over, somebody could have taken the catalytic converter from your car, and it could cost you thousands of dollars to fix. It's very surprising to a lot of people to figure out that one of the most valuable pieces of their car is actually up under it. The Lexington County Sheriff's Department says catalytic converter thefts are on the rise. It takes just a couple of minutes for someone to saw it off of your car. Now thieves are after what's inside the emission control device found on most vehicles. The metals inside that catalytic converter, what it's made of, particularly palladium, rhodium, and platinum, are so valuable out there. Now, law enforcement say this has driven the rash of thefts statewide. Deputies say just a few weeks ago they arrested a man who allegedly had more than 80 stolen converters. Now, South Carolina lawmakers want to stop this from happening. They don't want to hurt the people that are doing it the right way, but obviously the ones that have 60 or 80 in the back of a pickup truck traveling from across the state are, are not doing it the right way. A bipartisan bill unanimously passed in the House would make buying or selling stolen converters a crime that could land you in prison for up to three years. The legislation requires a paper trail of how the converter ended up detached from a vehicle. We're not telling anyone you can't sell your catalytic converter. We're saying that you have to have a receipt and show that it was your catalytic converter that you're selling or a car that you're working on. A lawmaker say states that have passed similar legislation have seen a decrease in reported thefts. The bill passed the full House and is currently in committee in the Senate. From the State House, Jason Raven, 7 News. Coming up, North Carolina.